hello and welcome to my youtube channel so today i am going to cover flutter tutorial on an application where you can select multiple images from your gallery now few months back i had created an application in which you can select one image but i found many comments asking that um, can we use or can we actually select multiple images instead of one image so to make things easier if you guys have seen that video well and good if not please go and see that video first because i'll be reusing the code that i used in that video correct now let's get started so in today's video um, i make as i said i am going to use the old code so the first thing is um, we get the dependency so i will use the same dependency which i used in the previous video which is image picker library that we need right so this is the package we need we'll do pub get okay let's get that thing now this is this is our package which we used for one image now this package also provides us with a method to select multiple images and that's what we are going to see in this video now what we need to do here is um, we need to allow a few things um, like permissions to our application so that it can access your photo gallery right so and obviously it's going to ask you for the permissions but um, this is what we would need um, so we would basically get this um, currently i will be using like we don't need any microphone or camera usage um, we just need the photo library usage right so i'll go to ios because my um, simulator is ios i go here and then here I will create a key with this um, and I also give it a string so here I can say um, photo access allow right something like this now once this is done save this um, rerun your application okay in the meantime the application is running um, we'll go here and as i said i'll be reusing the functionality so i'll go to lib main.art let me copy all of these and i will be removing some of these which i won't be using um, like like i won't be calling the camera so let me get rid of that um, let me get rid of pick image from camera let me also get rid of this two things right and i will create a new method um, before that what we need is um, as i have imported image picker i would need its object image picker right and then i would need a list because previously we had one file so we had one variable um, but here we will be using multiple images so we need a list of those all correct now i will do void select images x file selected images await and this is where the magic happens we would do image await image picker object and then if you see we have an option of picking multiple images so it's multi image um, but yeah it allows us to select multiple images and here i check if it's not empty then only assign like um, image list dot add all and add it to the selected images and i'll call the set state um, obviously i'm not setting any state here now once this is called i can actually directly call it from here which is select images um, pick images from gallery now this is where the magic happens here we were displaying one if image file we'll remove it and we would call use something called expanded right it will have a child object and in that child we would basically obviously we're calling padding because we need the padding around our um, 
images that we will import edge instance all 8.0 correct now here the magic happens of uh, viewing the images in grid format so we will call grid builder um, right and also i am going to count item count so item count will be equal to the amount of images in our array uh, if it's zero at the start nothing will be displayed if we select five images it will display all of those um, now here we do silver grid delegate with chris okay this is the one we need and on each axis we would need three images right now let's create our image builder i think in my if you are guys are following my previous videos i have been using this a lot so we need context and then i have the index once i have the index um, i would basically return image dot file actually and here i would have file image file list index dot path fit box fit dot cover and this is my end return statement being ending um, let me restart my app because it's more clear that way so what i have done is i have imported the library then I have created a state variable um, for this home page state, um, a, a list or array, you can say to list um, to save all the files that the, customer, the user selects. Now we go here in our view, whenever someone presses this, okay, I had an error here. Whenever someone presses this, we call the method. This is gonna be an asynchronous method because it waits and it takes some time um, once that is done we save everything to the select images list uh, image file list and then this automatically view gets updated it iterates over the array list and displays our images in a you can say in a, a grid format right so let's wait for our app to launch Okay, I think it's gonna work. Cool. So, okay, um, let's hope, fingers crossed, if I click on this, it should ask me for permissions first to allow. And if I press on allow, it should then may move me to the gallery where I can select multiple images. So I click on this. Okay, uh, allow access to all photos. I will do this. Okay, I click this. I long press this select i long press this select i long press this select correct and then if i click on add um, it should basically uh, display all of them let's see show selected let's add one image okay it worked so it worked for one image let's select okay so it's not working for multiple images why okay so one image works fine let's see if i select this okay it worked okay maybe for one particular image it might not be working let's select this and let's select this okay it's getting added so you can see multiple images are being selected i think the first image has some issue maybe the format is different and that's why it's not able to import it but you guys have seen the demo that it's working fine and this is how we can implement selection of multiple images with by using the same dependency image picker which we used for a single image right if you guys like this video, please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram. Thanks for the support.